Mr. Boaz, yes. I have a question for you. Yes. What has driven you to do this? Because it takes grace to mm. do this mm. kind of work. It mm. is an extraordinary thing you're doing. Mm. No, everyone can do this. Yes. So did you, would you explain to us, is it that you passed through a challenge for you to have this kind of a heart to do this kind of work? Yeah, yeah um, you know, I think basically I just want to explain it in a nutshell, in a nutshell mm -hmm. that uh, at one moment after my university, I went to the slum mm -hmm. and uh, you know when you're in university you hear about, about slums and you wonder how, why is it? Then when I went to the slum, mm -hmm. I found out a child wearing a, a t-shirt which covers, it is the panty, it is the short, mm -hmm. and that is the time of school, the child is looking around there. So I felt so saddened by this, this scenario, and I said that no, there's something we can do, which this child can come to a place mm -hmm. where they get a refuge, mm -hmm. so that they cannot be in the street looking around. So I started doing a daycare, and that time I was married. Mm -hmm. I was with my wife, and uh, I had to resign from my job so that I can do a daycare for the children in Islam mm -hmm. so that people could see that these children are not just in Islam, not going to school, mm -hmm. they get a place where they could study and just even have some meal for lunch and go back to their place. So in the meantime, as we were doing that, mm -hmm. we realized these children never had uh, even food. When they were eating that lunch, that was the supper also. So they could not, when going back to the, to the Kijiji, mm -hmm there was no supper. So some of them could stay with us longer so they can have their own meal, which we're taking in mm -hmm. my family. So with that, we realized that these students need help. And they, in the slum, mm -hmm. you hear cases that this your child who comes to the daycare mm -hmm. was raped. So we said, mm -hmm. we can host those children. So did community. you keep them in your home? Yes, we first had our own house. Mm -hmm. It's a very small house, just uh, two single rooms, mm -hmm. which we used to host them from. And then thereafter, we started now having a, a mainstream organization mm -hmm. which could uh, cater for those children in the community because we didn't deal with the numbers mm -hmm. uh, which we could not accommodate in the storerooms. So we started now to, to mobilize our friends to help us so they could have a bigger place for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most important to mention, these children must go to school. Mm -hmm. Being a teacher, I realized that I need to take the student to school mm -hmm. so that you can change the kind of ignorance mm -hmm. and even the poverty which, which, which the the, from where they came from. Yes. So with that knowledge, we are able to inform these children to mm -hmm. a better future mm -hmm. through education so that they can have, um, they can grow to be responsible adults. Mm. Yeah. So did, what course did you do in the university? It seems to be uh, you are, must have done education. I, I did education and yes. also did Bachelor of Psychology 